Hi, everybody. It's good to see you again. Uh, actually, you're seeing me, but you know what I mean. It's nice to be able to uh, make this video on, on a nice Sunday afternoon. But I just want you all to know uh, that we are we're in our sixth week of our course. And as a result, we're more than halfway through. And so I'm going to be giving you feedback on, on how you've done so far. And hopefully you know that since we're at the top of the mountain, this whole course, it's manageable. We can see what we have to do from here on out. Uh, some of you may think that we're at the bottom of the mountain or in the middle of the mountain and we still have a long ways to go to get to the top. But I really do believe that you're going to see that as we put together the pieces, uh, you know, the, the thesis, the introduction, and this week we're going to be putting together a close reading or close analysis of the texts. And once we get all those things together, I think you're going to see that your final paper is, is not so daunting. And so uh, I want to, to let you know again what we have coming up this week. It, it's a very predictable schedule. You know that we have a reading quiz on Wednesday. And we are now in this book. Sorry, it's backwards most likely for you. But uh, the Pilgrim's Progress is where we're at. Now on the cover you see a map. And, you know, maybe you need a magnifying glass if you're like me to be able to see the things on the map. But um, I'm going to try and use that on Thursday night and we'll kind of follow along. I'm also going to be posting uh, two versions of the story. Uh, one is shorter and one is longer and they're cartoon versions. As you might guess, this story has been presented to children, to young people, because it's something that maybe is accessible to them. Although a lot of parts of this book are pretty dense theologically. And so I, I'm hoping that you won't get too hung up by those things and that you'll keep pressing on through it. We're going through uh, page 63, I think it is, page 3 to 63, and which is basically the first half of, of the Pilgrim's Progress. And so the quiz is on Wednesday or before then, that's fine. Uh, just remember, you'll <clears throat> you have... It's an open memory quiz. It's not an open book quiz. And um, so I recommend that maybe you take notes as you read and then re review your notes because that'll be filtering some, you know, the many characters and pieces of information from the reading. Um, but on uh, Thursday, we'll be meeting again on Thursday night from 6 to 8. And again, I apologize for our last meeting that it was... It was cut short, but I did post a long video that uh, went over the second half of the Iliad, or the, I should say the second half of the second half of the Iliad. So maybe that'll help you uh, make sure you understood the Iliad as we move forward. And uh, on Friday, you have another analysis due. So it's the same procedure. You choose another passage and you, you uh, create an analysis of it. What we're doing here is we're picking out pieces. And so you did two analyses from the, uh, the Iliad, and those are pieces that you can use in your bigger paper. Now you're gonna probably wanna refine them. You're gonna, you're gonna maybe cut some things out. You're gonna want to join them together. And remember, you're always trying to support your thesis. Uh, one of the main things that you need to do as a writer is you need to have a claim and back that claim, which is basically a thesis, but you can be part of a thesis, a claim, evidence that supports it. So you're pulling from the different texts support to support your claim. And then we have what you call, a, what, what people call a warrant. And the warrant is basically an explanation, a justification for using the evidence to support the claim. And so that's the procedure that uh, you're required to follow for each paragraph of your overarching paper. And if you just, you know, I, I'm going to give you information on Thursday night, but I'll also post a document that talks about claims and evidence and warrants. And so hopefully that'll help you. I also want to go over uh, basically a, a rubric for this 
this close reading. Now it's only worth five points at this stage, but it will be worth a, a, a huge part of your uh, major paper grade at the end. And so just realize this is a process and we're learning to do this better and better each time. For every paragraph you write or every analysis, you need to have a point, a point that you're trying to make with all you say. And uh, so I, I hope that that helps a little bit, know where we're going. And uh, please realize that, that your close reading, and this is your close reading of the whole Iliad, okay, and at least part of the Pilgrim's Progress. And in addition, you want to be looking at some of the texts that you've had from your other class with Professor Zink. I, I, I hope that you found one book of the Bible that you think can, can help you, help support the, the thesis that you're developing in your paper. But uh, I'm going to keep working with you on that. And uh, as I said, I'm going to post a few resources and hopefully those resources will be helpful to you. So pretty much the same schedule. You've got Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday. It's basically something due each of those days. And remember that your discussion postings are always due at the end of our week, which is Saturday night. So it's a pretty busy second half of the week always. And I hope that you have gotten started on Pilgrim's Progress. It is shorter in some ways, but I would recommend that you don't get bogged down in the slough of despond, okay? This, you know, muddy mire of some of the language because it's from the 17th century, from the 1600s, and it can get pretty boggy. So hang in there and enjoy it. There are many things that will be crystal clear to you, and uh, it will be like an adventure tale, like a knight's quest in many cases. Remember that pattern of the, the adventurer's or hero's quest that we talked about with archetypes uh, in week four. Well, I wish you blessings today. And I, again, let me know if you have questions and I will be, again, giving you the feedback. Uh, I'm still finalizing the feedback on your introductions. And I'm also thinking about how I can help you further from this point forward. Thank you for all your good work. Just press on with me and I promise you will see the fruit coming and uh, it will be sweet. <laughs>